So in physics, we have different kinds of numbers that we can measure, and we can kind of classify them in two ways. Something can be either a scalar or it can be a vector. The scalars are physical quantities that are defined by a single number and a unit. So we always want to have units when we have scalars. So a statement like this lecture is 10 minutes. Uh, this bottle holds two liters. These are both scalar measurements. Things like time, mass, distance, length, volume, energy. These are all scalar quantities. Things that just have magnitude and no direction that goes along with it. Scalars can be added using all the regular rules of algebra as though they're physically all the same units. Whereas vectors, vectors are described by a number, a unit, and a direction. So they have some actual direction that's associated with them. So something like, I live 25 miles northeast of Marymount. So 25 miles would be a scalar quantity, but as soon as I add on that I live northeast, that northeast is the direction. Okay, so vectors, uh, some examples of these are things like displacement is considered a vector. So how far you've traveled from where you started. Uh, these quantities uh, that we'll learn about in a few uh, lectures, things like velocity, which is kind of how fast you're going and in what direction, position, force, torque. These are all things called vectors. And we'll learn more about all of these. So vectors can be added, subtracted, and multiplied, but not divided. But there are special rules for doing so. And when we're talking about vectors, vectors, when we write them, they're going to have a little arrow over them. That little arrow denotes that we have something that actually has some direction that goes along with it. So if I have something like a, a distance d and I put a, a little arrow over it, that's going to be vector notation. That little arrow means we have a vector. Okay, for example, let's say I walk 10 meters. 10 meters away from where I'm starting. Okay. That distance that I walked, that is considered a scalar. So D is a distance and it's 10 meters. Scalar quantity. I have a number, I have a uh, unit that goes along with it. Now, let's say I walk 10 meters south to the southwest that would be a number with units so here we've got our number we've got our units and we've got our direction i would need to write this slightly differently i have the distance equals 10 meters southwest and if this is a vector i want to put a little arrow over that vector sign i could also do this graphically to do this graphically i need to draw a coordinate system and have a little frame of reference so let's draw a kind of x and y axis so there's there's my y axis uh, we can draw our x axis here and instead of labeling them x and y let's label, label them with the cardinal directions we've got north we've got south we've got east and we've got west now this D right here, this distance that I'm walking is 10 meters, and it's going to be 10 meters towards the southwest. So I need to go in the southwest direction, so that's going to be kind of down uh, south and west. So I'm going to be kind of over in this quadrant. So my vector is going to be going down towards the southwest. And that could be a distance D with that little vector symbol. So what I know here is the distance um, that I'm traveling is going from some starting point, maybe we'll call that A, to some finishing point, we'll call that B. I know that the distance from A to B 
is equal to the distance from B to A. But a very subtle point is the distance, or displacement rather, from A to B. So it becomes a displacement when we put an arrow over it. That means the direction matters is not equal to the distance from B to A. If I am going from A to B, I am going down, right? I'm going southwest. So distance from A to B is going to the southwest. The distance from B to A though, if I'm starting at B and going up to A, I'm no longer going to the southwest. I'm going kind of up in this direction. I'm going towards the northeast. So this would be northeast. And because of these directions, these vectors are not equivalent to each other. So that is quick intro to, to some basics on vectors and scalars.